Uh, good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining us in the live for this the 2020 RPH Minimally Invasive Surgery Program. Collaborate with the CASTO's e Masterclass. Today is a part one uh, with the topic of the histoscopy shelving technique. I am Professor Kilong Li, together with the Dr. Sui Long, Professor Attilio Sado, and the Dr. Prudence Aquino. We are delighted to talk to you about the histoscopy shelving technique. Uh, let me introduce about the Professor Xue Long. Xue Long is the chairman of the Histoscope Center of the Obi-Gai Hospital, affiliate to Fudan University, Shanghai, China. Uh, he also a vice chairman of the Histoscopy Sections Committee of the Minimally Invasive Surgery for Women and the Children, uh, China Maternal and the Child Health Associations and also the deputy leader of the uh, hysoscopic group, Gynecology Endoscopic Minimal Invasive Sur Surgery Committee of the Chinese ob OB-GYN Society, COCA, and also the vice president of Chinese Society of the Coposcopy and the Cervic Pathologies. And uh, in recent years, Dr. Xue Long have focused on the diagnosis and the treatment of the intrauterine disease, uh, especially in the corrections of the mutilin anomalies and the endometrial resection of the malignancies, compressed uterine my my myometomy, and the cesarean section incision, diverticulous remodeling, and the early endometrial cancer to retain the fertility. It specialized in the basic and the clinical research on the interuterine adhesions and the experience in the minimally invasive treatment and the prevention. And also committed to promote the rate house model and the procedures uh, management of the histoscopy surgery to the safety the needs of the patients with the very the varieties of the diagnosis and the treatment models. And uh, Dr. Xiong has uh, presided over 12 scientific research project from the National Nature Science Foundations of China and also the Ministry of Health, the National Science and the Technology Support Programs. And uh, Professor Sferon also published more than 100 papers uh, in the cold journals of China and uh, abroad. And uh, she is the one six scientific and the technology progress award and the medical achievement prize. And uh, so it's an introduction for the Professor Sferon. And if you are joining from the laptop, you will find a Q&A box on the right side of your screen. It is where you can submit all your questions during the presentations. If you join us from the smartphone, please use the menu tab and on the left side of your screen, we will answer your questions after during the Q&A discussions after each presentation. We were issuing an e-certification of the completing of the attendees who have attended the entire the sections and the complete the feedback form at the end of the web webinar. So be sure you will complete the feedback and uh, we will give you the e-certifications. Okay, so we uh, next the uh, my talk to the uh, Dr. Xue Long. Thank you, Professor Li, and uh, good evening, everyone, in today's webinar. Uh, good evening, Professor Attilo and uh, Dr. Prudence. As we are here today to talk about hysteroscopic sweeping technique, in the slide area, 
will now appear a polling question. Please select the answers that apply best to your current knowledge. The first question is, how would you evaluate your current knowledge on hysteroscopic shaving technique? Yeah, the result is 100% is the second. I have a fairly limited knowledge. Now it's changed the percentage. Now it shows Okay. Over 50% colleagues choose second. I have fairly limited knowledge. And uh, about 20 and 21% choose the number fours. I'm knowledgeable about it and offer it in my hospital clinic already. And another over 10%. Okay, the second slide, second question, we summary here. Have you attempted hysteroscopic shaving technique before? Yes or no? It says half the participants, over half, over 60%. So issues over 50% participants have attempted a hysteroscopy shaving technique before. It's great. It sounds fine. Okay, thanks for your participating the polling with us.